So our addiction program, we wanted to highlight a little bit because in often scenarios, people think of coming and getting medication, whether that be Suboxone, and then just going on their way, and they don't really know how to change the patterns of behavior their addiction has created. They just are wanting to get off the substance. And often that really isn't enough for people. So our program is not just medication for the rest of your life, here you go. It provides people with a counselor, with some, some group information to really build a good support system, a knowledge base to manage their addictive mindset behaviors and give them even family involvement for the best chance at staying sober permanently. Absolutely. Uh, so there are not very many facilities where they provide dual psychiatric care and treatment for addictions. Often uh, in the systems, either you are seeing a psychiatrist for addiction, uh, psychiatric care or an addictionologist. Fortunately, we offer both of those treatments right in one, one place uh, and thus enhancing and really reducing people's times of running around in two different locations and really kind of integrating them in a very seamless manner. Um, and so, as Sasha indicated earlier, um, uh, treatments for addiction is not just detox. Uh, detox is just just getting ourselves off of that substance. The real treatment is treatment of what caused a person to start using drugs and or alcohol or any other chemical, uh, cocaine or amphetamines and or you know, all these new designer drugs. And then we try to understand, is there a mood disorder that needs to be taken care of? And often, when you take care of why people use, then they don't have a need to use. No, that's exactly true, and it's so helpful that we have that psychiatric foundation for the addiction program because they often do go hand in hand, and I think even when other doctors might start with prescribing narcotics, they just don't have the time to spend with the people to rule out all possible psychiatric conditions that might eventually lead this person to developing an addiction from you know, an initial prescription for legitimate pain. So once the person's in that role that they've developed an addiction, doctors sometimes don't even know how to handle that or where to send them. So coming to a psychiatric practice might be an opportunity because they're going to get their addiction dealt with, but then also look a little bit deeper. Absolutely. And I want to kind of add, that's very well said. In our modern day times, our family doctors and internists really don't have much time to spend uh, given the magnitude of their responsibilities. And so thus, psychiatry is the only field where we have the time. All we do is listen and hear and understand. Uh, so we're very, we, we work with uh, local clinicians who have that interest of uh, collaboration to actually give them that time and understanding for their patients who then are not presenting to emergency rooms or medical settings with somatic symptoms, mm -hmm. which may have a psychiatric underpinnings. Mm -hmm. And we collaborate and we make sure that our primary care colleagues are aware of how we, what are we doing and how are we treating them. Yeah, always.